All right, so here I am with another drink review. I am back down at the Jersey Shore, and there's a thunder and lightning storm going on right now, which is kind of cool. So it's the perfect weather, and it's real hot and humid down here. I probably would have done this review on the beach with the drinks I have today, but uh, the humidity died a little bit here. So I decided to come out to the front porch here and get some fresh air and drink some fruit punch malt liquor beverages. And I have my friend here, Aunt Kill Sam, to uh, witness this occasion So because it's going to be so historic. I even have little flags here. Actually, I'll be reviewing four drinks and one. This is the Seagram's Escapes Kickoff Party Pack. Now, this has a picture of like a football field in the background, but I don't think people that watch football drink like these fruity kind of wine cores. Now, this is a variety pack of four different flavors made by the Seagram's Company, and it just looks so refreshing to me. I know the lighting is not the best in this video. I'm doing this on the porch with like a uh, actual like desk lamp. But since it's raining and there's nothing else to do, I figured I would review this pack that I bought earlier. Now only in the summertime when I come to the shore do I love these, the fruit flavored <laughs> uh, alcohol beverages. They're just, oh man, they're so refreshing. You just can't drink too many because they dehydrate you and you get like a huge hangover the next day. 12 12 fluid ounce cans, three of each flavor, premium malt beverage. All right, this is kind of getting creepy out here with this thunder lightning storm and Uncle Sam watching me. <laughs> Nonetheless, let's take each one of these out and uh, just simply try the flavor profile and just sip a little bit of each here. The first one is strawberry daiquiri. Man, this lighting, I'm just, just bear with me here. It's not really that good, but it seems so fun to be out here doing a thunderstorm, doing some drink reviews. All right, strawberry daiquiri. And this is 3.2 alcohol by volume. So that's pretty low. So hopefully it won't get you too intoxicated. Uh, and maybe actually end up being more refreshing. Let's try this. Okay, the color is a red. At least you can pick, the light picks that up a little bit. Man, it smells good. I can smell it from here. I'm thirsty too. I mean, it is so hot down here. It's so humid. If you could only smell this shirt, trust me. Really, so humidity is down now and it's getting a little bit cooler. And man, I'm so thirsty. I'm going to drink this like it's an actual juice. <laughs> so it smells like strawberry candy, like strawberry Jolly Rancher. Mm. Oh my god. Whoa. I'm just thirsty in general, so that was really refreshing. Mm. Alright, so it, ta it tastes just like it smells, like the Strawberry Jolly Rancher. It's, uh, if you're looking for more, I'm sorry, but that's exactly what it tastes like. It tastes like strawberry fruit juice or candy. The next one is Jamaican Me Happy. This is the same alcohol per volume, 3.2, except this has a lot of different flavors going on. Lemon, strawberry, watermelon, and guava. Now, wow, this sounds good.
this is like a um, it's like a light red color. I don't know if the camera picks it up too good. Actually, it's like a it's a really nice color. Actually, it almost looks like a pearl. If you've ever seen a pearl and it has that like that sheen on it, it looks exactly like that color. So it's like a purple pink mix. Wow, it smells good too. I can't put my uh, my uh, finger on it here. It smell. It actually smells like those really expensive bath soaps, but in an edible sense. Mm. Oh, this reminds me of something. I know. It has a um. I think it's the guava I'm tasting. That's a unique part of it. And it, it actually has a Sprite Remix taste to it. It tastes like guava and Sprite Remix. Next in the variety pack is Calypso Colada. Now this is their attempt I guess on pina colada or, or the coconut kind of flavored drink pineapple and coconut uh, 3.2 alcohol per volume once again coconut and pineapple how could that be a bad thing there's people out there that say they don't like coconut and I just I can't comprehend it Wow, look at that color. Dude, I was not expecting that at all. Wow. It's so... That is not right that they put this in a can. This should be every... You should be able to witness this. It's such an awesome color. It's like aqua blue. It looks like the water you would see like in a Pixar movie. Whoa. Oh yeah. Coconut. Smells like coconut big time. So if you don't like coconut, don't try this one. Wow, this is blowing me away. These things are awesome. And the color on that other one that you're making me happy. You gotta you buy. You, just if you see these out, get it so you can witness the color for yourself because this doesn't do it justice. Ugh. Oh, now that one's way smoother. It's not as tart as the other ones. The other ones are very like acidic and tart. This one, however, is smooth as that coconut. It reminds me a lot about summertime too because it smells like that coconut uh, oil spray. <laughs> like the banana boat oil. But a different texture and flavor profile with the smoothness compared to the others. Now we have Peach Fuzzy Navel. Same alcohol per volume, 3.2. And basically it's just a peach one. So when I bought this pack, I figured I was going to like this the most. Because uh, I'm a huge fan of orange fruits. <laughs> so peaches, oranges, mangoes, they're one of my favorite and most satisfying fruits to eat. So I think this is going to be really good. Wow, now this one for oh let me look at the color first. Okay, so it almost has the same color as the Jamaican Me Happy. Except it's a little more orange. But it almost has that that rainbow coloring effect to it. Now this one smells like the uh, the mangaritas or 
the strawberries, like how they smell. They were very strong smell of like the fruit and alcohol. This one smells like one of the uh, the Bud Light Company ones. Wow, that taste is uh, it's almost like the coconut one in the way that it's really mild, not as smooth, but it's not tart. Okay, so it tastes like instead of just peach flavoring and that alcohol flavor mixed together, it tastes like alcohol mixed with the actual peach nectar, like that you get in those like cardboard boxes at the grocery store, like the pure nectar, which is like super sweet. That's what it tastes like. So it tastes more natural than the Bud Light Company's ones. All right, so now I got four out of these to rate using the um, the five star method. Start with strawberry daiquiri. Now I'm going to be uh, straight up honest here, and for what it is, this is a perfect five. It just is for what it is. It's a alcoholic drink that has a strawberry flavor. Actually, they're all going. The rest of them are going to be very high on the ratings. Um, I'm going to give this. Yeah, I got to go with a. I got to go with a five on this. The coconut one. There's just no doubt. The color plus the taste, and it's a simple wine cooler. So five out of five stars for that. Now this one, I'm going to give four and a half stars out of five only because uh, the taste will, I mean, that's not a bad rating. Four out of five is really good. I don't know, I guess in comparison of the other two, maybe the flavor was just a little bit better in the other ones, but the color on this one's super cool too. And this one, I'm gonna go with four stars out of five because another good rating, once again, but in comparison to the others is because of the uh, the flavor is not a lot going on. It's just peach, like almost straight up peach and alcohol. But obviously, a four stars is good, and that, and if you like peach, that's a good thing. So thank you for watching my first review during a thunderstorm. The drink review has ended. You may go in peace. Thank you for thank watching. You for Please watching. subscribe. 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 Subscribe.